Red Ravens, I'm Shane Neal, it's US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. We're so happy to be with you tonight for the second game of the season for the guys. They take on Seminole State. The Trojans come in, and this is a really high-profile matchup. The Trojans 25-8 a season ago, Region 2 champions in a national tournament participant. They take on a Red Raven team that went 24-8 a season ago and lost in the Region 6 semifinals. Hope you've had a fantastic Friday. It's the start of a back-to-back -back men's basketball game day here from Nellis Hall, and we've got a lot of great stuff to talk about here tonight. We're about eight minutes away from tip. But let's, of course, break down the Wednesday night season opener. 91-61 win over the Fort Scott Gray Greyhounds to get the season started. And uh, what a performance it was from the newest member of the Red Ravens, Chris Carroll, the Hutchinson transfer. He was sensational in his Red Raven debut. And it was about as good as you could have asked from the sophomore from Tallahassee. Let's learn a little bit more about Mr. Carroll, as we get ready for the second night of the season, of course, Chris, a six foot six sophomore from Tallahassee, Florida. He spent last season at Hutchinson Community College. He scored eight points in their matchup with the Red Ravens last year. Of course, was recruited by Coffeyville out of high school. Jay Herkelman said uh, Hutchinson and Coffeyville being his final two. He ended up choosing Hutch. But after a year, of course, finds his way to Coffeyville via the transfer. And he's now fourth in the country in scoring at 29 points per game in the season opener. And, of course, like I said, 29 points in his first game. Shot 53% from the floor, hit five threes, and also, of course, had eight of eight at the free throw line. Chris Carroll can do a little bit of everything, but so can a lot of guys on this team as they get ready for this matchup with the Trojans of Seminole State. Seminole State has won one game this year, 83-73 back on Wednesday night. The Ravens, of course, a 91-61 victor in their season opener as well. So happy you're with us here from Nellis Hall. It's the Red Raven pregame show. 11 new freshmen on this team, 12 new players. But the Ravens made it work on night number one. 46% shooting, 38% from three, 81% at the free throw line. We saw Janai Summers put up. 13 points, 12 for C.J. Smith. Of course, Chris Carroll with that 29, and Isaac Jackson had a double-double as well. There's depth on this team, and there's talent all over the place. We'll see if they can get off to a 2-0 start here tonight. Red Raven pregame show. Let's step away for two minutes. When we come back, there's a new starter at point guard for the Red Ravens tonight. We'll learn all about him when we come back on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network in two minutes. in Coffeyville. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are all offered. Visit medicallodges.com or stop by 2921 West 1st in Coffeyville and learn more. Medical Lodges Coffeyville, where they serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. This is Community State Bank at work. This is Community State Bank at work. This is Community State Bank at work in our community. From kids' activities to school programs to funding home and business loans, every day Community State Bank is at work in our neighborhood. Whether you bank at Community State Bank or not, they're working for you every day. Community State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Mike Avey, and at Community State Bank, we believe in Coffeeville. Catch every second. Every move of Red Raven basketball on US 98. Johnson and one. A tough finish. Jackson driving, stuffing with the right hand. My expectations every year is that uh, we're going to win the conference. Red Raven basketball on US 98 is brought to you by Medical Lodges, Community State Bank, Coffeeville Regional Medical Center. Windsor at Home Care, NDB of Coffeeville, Derailed Commodity, Taco Mayo, Roman Chevrolet, and Coffeeville Community College. The hottest game on the court, Red Raven Basketball on US 98.
Nellis Hall, the place to be as we get ready for some Friday night college basketball between the Coffeeville Community College Red Ravens and the Seminole State Trojans. Good evening, I'm Shane Neal. This is US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. Ravens looking to get a 2-0 start to the season following an impressive debut against the Fort Scott, Tro uh, Fort Scott Greyhounds. Excuse me, Seminole State coming off an 83-73 win in their home season opener. We have a couple changes to the starting lineup tonight for the Red Ravens. We'll get you all of those just around the corner, but one to keep your eye on, a new point guard tonight. No Brian Griffith. He's out with an illness. It will be Javen Kofer who will get his first collegiate start. Let's learn a little bit more about the freshman. Kofer, six foot two from San Marcos, Texas. Had a really solid senior season in San Marcos, averaging 13 points, nearly five rebounds, and nearly three assists per game. And a buzzer beater. A game-winning three-point shot in the opening round of the district playoffs in his senior season. So an, an act for the clutch is Mr. Kofer on that big game winner in the playoffs of his final season of high school basketball. And like we said, he'll be making his first start tonight at point guard with no Brian Griffith available. With two minutes left until tip, let's get over our keys to the game here on this Friday night as the Ravens look for that 2-0 start to the season. Our first key to the game tonight, force tough shots. Seminole State, 55% from the floor a season ago, 54% so far this year. They average a lot of points, and they hit a high percentage of their shots to do so. Of course, the Ravens going to have to focus on making those shots difficult and playing as good a defense as they did on Wednesday night. Inside out on offense, of course, the two returners on this team being Isaac Jackson and Bubakar Keita. We expect both of them to have a big impact throughout the season, and I think that's how Jay Herkelman wants to play offense. Attack inside with BK, attack inside with Isaac, and find those open shooters out on the perimeter when that opportunity becomes available. And our final key to the game tonight, play fast, but control. We know Jay Herkelman loves to play his fast style of offense, loves to run up-tempo. It worked very well on Wednesday against Fort Scott. But in a game like this, with a lot of inexperience still and a lot of young players, you don't want to go too fast and turn the ball over and give Seminole State extra possessions. So again, our keys to the game tonight, force tough shots, inside out on offense, and play fast, but controlled. This has been the Red Raven pregame show on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. We'll hear from Coach Herkelman at, ha at halftime tonight. And while they announce the starting lineups here from Nellis Hall, let's take a 90-second break. When we come back, starting five and tip-off from Nellis on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. We can make you workforce ready at one of our technical campuses, be a student athlete, join an honors program or an activity, have a voice with student government, and be involved with student life events. Our school believes in our red and white traditions, providing you with a quality education and preparing you for the next journey in life. Once you experience our campus, you know you've made the right choice. Let us help you make our story your story and become Raven Proud. If you could use a little help around the house, Windsor Place at-home care is the perfect solution for you. Their caregivers are prepared to help you with laundry, meals, housekeeping, shopping, and more. These helpful services are so reasonably priced, you can afford to pay for them yourself. In many cases, long-term care insurance or other sources provide assistance with the cost. Home is where the help is. Call Windsor Place at-home care, 800-982-1866. To the main event. This is Coffeeville Community College Red Raven Football. Let's get ready to rumble! Brought to you by Roman Chevrolet, Coffeeville Regional Medical Center, and DB of Coffeeville. Place at Home Care, Coffeeville Community College, Community State Bank, and Medical Lodge. Y'all ready for this? Good evening. Sports Network. Friday night, Red Raven basketball as we get ready for this one. And we're excited for this matchup between two very solid basketball programs. The Red Ravens of Coffeyville, as well as the Trojans of Seminole State. Starting lineups are being announced right now. 
And we have a couple changes for the Red Ravens. We'll get those to you in just a moment. But a new starting backcourt for Coffeyville tonight as we still work on a couple uh, battles for some starting spots as well as uh, Brian Griffith being unavailable tonight due to an illness. But as both teams take the floor, we expect a good one. Trojans won their season opener 83-73. Red Ravens won their season opener 91 to 61. Starting lineup for the Trojans tonight. Number one, Nehemiah Weber. Number three, Delonte Shannon. Number four, Seal Walden. Number 10, Jaden Parker. And number 11, Kalen Goff Brown. Bra Goff Brown, Parker, as well as Weber combined for 48 of the 74 shots in the season opener for the Seminole State Trojans. For the Ravens tonight, like I said, couple changes. Number one, Javen Kofer gets his first career start. We'll also see Janai Summers back there at the two, the 6'6 freshman. Number At the three, Chris Carroll. Number 15, number 23, Isaac Jackson. And number 24, Bubakar Keita. Isaac Jackson will jump along with Jaden Parker. And Isaac wins the tip. Here we go as the Ravens look to start the season 2-0. Kofer has the basketball, swings it right to Summers. Isaac Jackson with it now on the left wing. Hands it off to Kofer. Kofer so quick, had six assists in his first collegiate game. Chris Carroll gets a screen, tries to find Kata inside. Nice play by Kata to get the basketball, and he lays it in. Bubakar Kata with great positioning down low, and a nice find from Chris Carroll off the screen. 2-0 Red Ravens after the first possession of the ball game. Here comes the Seminole State Trojans with a little bit of a full court press here from Jay Herkelman's defense. Red Ravens forced 19 turnovers in that season opener. Parker hands it off. This is Delonte Shannon, the lone returner from last year's Seminole State team. That Seminole State team last season, Region 2 champions, and went to the national tournament. And that's a turnover as Goff Brown could not hook up with Delonte Shannon. So just like against Fort Scott, a great start for the Ravens. They score the first points. They force a turnover. 2-0 Coffeyville a minute in. Javen Kofer hands it off to Janai Summers, who had 13 in his collegiate debut. Chris Carroll, big screen. Pick and roll to Kata again, and Kata couldn't control it this time. It's a steal for Jaden Parker. Shannon, handoff. Thought about the three did, there, did a... Uh, Sile Walden did not take it. The drive now by Goff Banks going up. It's blocked by Isaac Jackson. Goff Brown was denied. And now Shannon going up with the right hand and lays it in. Excuse me, that was Nehemiah Weber who has the first points of the night for Seminole. Tied at two, minute 40 into this one. Isaac Jackson has it. Hands it off to Janai Summers. Chris Carroll still have yet to see him take a shot tonight. I assume that will change very quickly. Carroll pull up, jump shot, that's good. 29 points in his Red Raven debut. Fourth in the nation in scoring here in week one. Chris Carroll off to a great start tonight. Kata trying to stay in front of Weber. The nice kick to Parker. Extra pass. That's a three off there by Walden and an offensive rebound here for the Trojans. Shannon the drive goes right at Summers and one. Delonte Shannon goes into the freshman Janai Summers. And the sophomore shows some strength on that one. They call the foul on Kofer. So it'll be Kofer's first foul. Shannon trying to give Seminole the lead here. And does. Three points for Delonte Shannon. Two for Nehemiah Weber. 5-4 Trojans lead. Carroll hands it off to Isaac Jackson. Isaac hands it back to Chris Carroll. Carroll moving right, stops on a dime at the elbow, hands off to Kata. This is Jackson going one-on-one. -on -one. Now double teams comes. Kofer extra pass to Summers. And Janai Summers, that's off the rim, no good. Rebound collected by Walton. Sile Walden brings it up. Walden, the freshman. Shannon now hands it off. Weber, Weber on the drive left. Carroll cuts him off. He kicks it to Goff Brown. Goff Brown led the team with 23 points in their season opener, but took 23 shots to get there. Three in the corner, no good by Weber. Rebound collected by Javen Kofer. 
Full head of steam, handoff Chris Carroll, and Carroll in and out on that one. Kofer's going to get the offensive rebound. Now Summers, second chance here for the Ravens, Javen Kofer. Back to Kofer, Kofer fakes the three, now driving left, handoff Summers, down low, Bubakar Keda. Back to Kofer, great ball movement, Carroll tries again, and hits. Five points quickly for Chris Carroll. And Kofer keeps the possession alive. We're going to see a lot of Javen Kofer tonight. Brian Griffith, if you're just now joining us, unavailable due to an illness. It will be a lot of Javen Kofer this evening. That pass through the legs of Parker and out of bounds. Carroll forcing the turnover. Chris Carroll, could you have a better 44 minutes to start a career at Coffeyville? I'm not sure. 29 points against Fort Scott. He's got five early tonight. He's got an assist, and there he forces the turnover on defense. And Kofer had that one taken away. Here comes Seminole the other way. Jackson trying to stay in front of Goff Brown. Nice move by Goff Brown. And he gives Seminole a score that ties the game at seven. Seven apiece, 15.48 to go. Next dead ball will be our first media timeout of the night. Carroll attacking, kicking to Isaac Jackson who goes up and draws the foul. And Isaac Jackson will go to the free throw line when we come back in 60 seconds. Early on, Ravens seven, Trojans seven. It'll be Isaac Jackson at the free throw line when we're back in 60 on US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. Largest selection of in stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock, and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Taco Mayo's new Filet Ole Steak Bowl is piled high with Filet Minon. It's Filet Minon. A heaping bowl loaded with refried beans, Mexicali rice, cheddar jack, sour cream, and tender Filet Mignon. It's Filet Minon. Filet Minon. A uh, Filet Minion. Filet Minon. Filet Minon. Savor the juicy Filet Ole Steak Bowl stacked with Filet Minon and only from Taco Mayo. That's a wrap. No, that's a bowl. Red Ravens and Seminole State. US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. So happy you're with us here on this Friday night presentation of Red Raven basketball. And early on, more of the same from Chris Carroll. Five points, an assist, a steal. He has been the star of the show through the first week of the season for the Red Ravens. Isaac Jackson at the free throw line, however, as we return to the court. Jackson fouled before the break after a great pass inside by Javen Kofer. He's got the start tonight over Brian Griffith, who's out with an illness. First free throw is good from Isaac Jackson. That's something Jackson struggled with a year ago, was not a good free throw shooter. And I'm sure that's one of the aspects of his game he's working on. And he knocks down a pair there. More press here from the Ravens, full court defense. And putting the pressure on Seminole State. Double team comes, they get it there to Wal Walden. And Walden looking to hand it off to Goff Brown and does. CJ Smith into the game for the Ravens. He is the lone substitution so far tonight along with Alvin Cole who came in for Bubu Carcada. Three-pointer for Goff Brown is short. Rebound battled for, won by C.J. Smith. And the 6'7 length of C.J. Smith able to make a play there. They hand it off to Smith in transition. Smith trying to break down Goff Brown, gets it down low to Alvin Cole. Baseline jump shot is good. Alvin Cole comes off the bench, knocks down his first shot. It's 11-7 Ravens, 14-46 to go, first half. Walden. More press from the Ravens. A lot of pressure being put on here. Got to throw a pass up. It's stolen by Isaac Jackson. Jackson hands it off. Kofer. Kofer steps into a three and in and out. Rebound Cole. Offensive glass for the Ravens. And that pass to Carroll. It's up and good. Seven points for Chris Carroll early. And the Ravens have their largest lead of the night. It's 13-7. 
Walden gets it up ahead. And the fake by Goff Brown. Goff Brown trying to make some defenders miss, and he turns it over. Once a foul, not going to get it. Red Raven basketball, they lead it by six early in this one. Chris Carroll with seven points early. C.J. Smith, Kofer. Now Carroll with it in the corner, playing tight defense on Christian Carroll. He drives inside, wanted a foul, didn't get it. The shot no good. Drive the other way, and Goff Brown, or excuse me, that was Shannon who was hit. and Could not get the basket to go. Isaac Jackson in transition is fouled. And Isaac Jackson will go to the free throw line for the second time tonight. That foul on Jaden Parker, the redshirt sophomore. Jackson knocked down his first two free throws of the night. Buba Carcada at the scorer's table about to come back in. First one is good from Isaac. Substitution for Seminole number 22, Caden Kitchens coming into the game for Sile Walden. And it looks like we'll see Kata come in for Isaac Jackson following this free throw. That's exactly what will happen. Four points for Isaac Jackson from the free throw line, and the Ravens have an eight-point lead early in this one. Fifteen-seven, Coffeyville. They are on an eight-zero run. And another turnover by the Seminole State on offense. That'll bring in a substitution tonight as Kofer gets his first breather. We'll see the freshman out of El Dorado, Jeremiah Kemboy, who comes in to run the point. Of course, if you're just now joining us, no Brian Griffith tonight. He's out with an illness, so Kemboy will be helping out at the point guard spot tonight. 15-7, Ravens lead, 13-25 to go first half. Kemboy fakes the shot. And now hands it off to Bubakar Keda. Keda to Carroll. Carroll the fake. Carroll trying to drive left. Carroll goes up. Tough shot. Might have gotten hit on the arm, but no call. The shot no good. The rebound taken by the Trojans. Goff Brown fakes the shot. Big screen there from Shannon. Parker hands off Goff Brown. That was poked. Goff Brown got it back. Kicked out to Parker, who fakes. Extra pass. Three-point shot by Weber is good. Great ball movement there by Seminole State. And Nehemiah Weber puts in the three to cut the lead down to five. Kemboy hands it off to Alvin Cole. Cole to Carroll. Carroll has seven points so far tonight. Trying to get it inside to Bubakar Keda. Keda picked up, and that's a foul on the way up on Weber. Keda tried to spin inside. Weber got a slap on the arm. And we'll see Bubakar Keda heading to the free throw line for the Ravens. BK, two points tonight. The first two points of the night. Had six points in the season opener, but his impact in so many more ways than just scoring. Blocked a couple shots, had a couple big rebounds. So quick up and down the floor. Obviously, we have a lot of teams we have yet to scout this season, but I'll tell you what. You got to think Buba Carcada is going to be one of the fastest fives in the country going up and down the floor. He has got some speed to that 6'9 frame. Free throws up and good by BK. Ravens lead up to seven. Four points for Kata, four points for Jackson, seven points for Carroll. The big three have come out strong tonight. More pressure from the Raven defense. This is Kitchens handing it off to Shannon. 17-10 Ravens, 12-27 to go first half. Kitchens on the right wing. Gio Walton in the game for Coffeyville. Shannon, Kata switches on, and now Kemboy. Playing defense down low, Kata the chase down block. It will stay with the Trojans, but another block for Bubakar Kata. He has shown that is a big part of his game early in his career. Kitchens trying to get the inbounds pass to in there, and Shannon takes it. Tough three with Walton in his space. That's an air ball. That's a shot clock violation as the Ravens play strong defense. Corey Upkins into the game for Seminole. He's number 24. Jeremiah Kemboy brings it up. Ravens lead it by seven with 12.03 to go in the first half. More of the same so far with the Ravens tonight. They look strong on both ends of the floor. 
C.J. Smith the drive, had it poked out of bounds, last touched by the Ravens, and a turnover. C.J. Smith looking at Jay Herkelman, saying that's on me. Of course, with 11 new freshmen on this roster, we expect some mistakes, but the mistakes have been kept to a minimum so far through a game in eight minutes. Ravens 17, Seminole State 10. We're back in 60 seconds on US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. If you have any of these, call NDB in Coffeeville and then relax. NDB can protect your assets and save you money. They represent numerous insurance companies so that they can help you find the right insurance at the right price for you. NDB at 812 West 11th in Coffeeville. Call Ben Veets at 620-251-1970 and relax. At Coffeeville Regional Medical Center, we take seriously our responsibility of caring for our friends and neighbors. We are your regional health care system, caring for Southeast Kansas and Northeast Oklahoma. With comprehensive technology and experienced medical staff, caring medical professionals, and a 24-hour emergency room staffed with emergency medicine physicians, we are people you know and health care you trust. For more information, visit our website crmcinc.org First half, I'm Shane Neal. It's US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network here on this Friday night. And there, uh, great news from Dirk Andrews over the PA, Mike. Lady Ravens off to a 2-0 start. They beat the Crowder College team tonight in Arkansas 61-39 and the Lady Ravens off to a 2-0 start to the season big congrats to Tony Turner and all of them we hope they can get to 3-0 tomorrow afternoon shot there is off but Goff Brown fouled on the way up that'll be on CJ Smith we'll be of course hearing from Coach Herkelman we normally hear from Coach Herkelman before the game but did not have time to get to that tonight, of course, and we'll hear from him at halftime. And then after the game, we'll hear from new assistant coach Braden Proctor making his debut on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. And I know he's excited, so we can't wait to talk to Braden after the game. First free throw was good from Goff Brown, 17-11. Second free throw on the way. This is the best scorer so far this year for Seminole, and he's got two free throws. Kemboy still running the point for the Ravens. It's Kemboy, Walton, Smith, Cole, and Kata. Kemboy with it on the right wing. Ravens up by five. Kemboy stops on a dime. Swings it to C.J. Smith down low. Alvin Cole, double team comes. Nice kick. Gio Walton for three. It's good. Gio Walton from downtown. And the Ravens lead back up to eight. What a perfect find from Alvin Cole. Shot there is blocked by Cole. And here come the Ravens the other way. Kemboy, Ravens up by eight, trying to move fast. C.J. Smith, and now they'll slow it down just a little bit. Walton, big screen from Kata. Kemboy, back to Walton, fakes the three this time. Geo on the drive, the kick. Kemboy, back to Walton. 10 to shoot for the Ravens. Walton, step back three, had that one blocked. And the rebound collected by Seminole State. Up ahead they go, and that's up against blocked by Kata! Chase down rejection! Bubakar Kata with the block of the year. CJ Smith with it now as the Ravens not allowing anything easy from the Trojans. Kemboy the drive, the kick. Walton back to Kemboy, 10 to shoot again. They go to Smith. Smith, cross court pass. Walton fakes this time, handoff Cole. And Alvin Cole missed it. Fight for the rebound, and Seminole able to clear it with Goff Brown. What a block by Bubakar Kata. Goff Brown straight on three is off. And out of bounds, Red Raven basketball. Isaac Jackson back in for the Ravens. We see Isaac come in for Bubakar Keita, who's put on a show on the defensive end so far in this one. That chase down rejection, what looked like an easy dunk, easy layup for Corey Upkins. And at the last second, Keita comes flying in and sends it off the rim. 
Kenboy brings it up. Ravens lead it 20 to 12, just over the halfway point of the first half. CJ Smith trying to get it to Jackson. Jackson guarded closely. Ravens working right. Nice pass to Smith. Smith pull up jump shot on the baseline. It's off. Jackson battling for the rebound, but it's collected by the Trojans. That rebound was by Kitchens. Hand off Shannon. Shannon fakes a three, guarded by Jackson. Now Parker. Jaden Parker with it, guarded by Cole. Back to Shannon on the right wing. Down low, they try to get it, and that's Weber. Nehemiah Weber swings it. This is Walden. Walden going baseline. Cole got a hand on it, but able to be cleaned up by Kitchens, who lays it in. Caden Kitchens, the freshman. Walt had it slipped through his hands, but able to recover. Walt moving left and had that one poked as well. Going the other way is Kitchens and a nice finish. Caden Kitchens looking strong so far tonight. First quarter about to end in Wellington. Field Kinley and Wellington still scoreless in that round two playoff game. C.J. Smith hands it off to Kemboy. Kemboy trying to stop and start. Walt fakes the three. Geo driving, hands it off to Isaac Jackson who goes up strong and it rolled off. Cole gets the rebound and lays it up and in. Alvin Cole with the score, puts the Ravens back up by six. 8.08 to go, first half, 22-16, Coffeyville. Kitchens, he scored the last four for Seminole. Now Jaden Parker, Parker hands it off to Weber. Weber goes quick, had it poked from behind. Kemboy moving up ahead. Kemboy, nice Euro step, and Jeremiah Kemboy. That was a great finish by the red shirt freshman from El Dorado. And that one, Walton got a hand on it, but it will be out of bounds and stay with the Trojans. Media timeout number three. We've got some starters coming back in for the Ravens. They lead it 24-16. Nice job by Jeremiah Kemboy playing in place of Brian Griffith tonight. Let's step away for 60 seconds. We're back right after this on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. 2023 Chevy Silverados qualify for 0% interest, no payments for 90 days, and $1,000 cash allowance for qualified buyers. We have a great selection of Silverados, and 2024 models are showing up daily. Roman Chevrolet will donate $5 to the American Cancer Society for every social media post shared. The goal is to donate $170,000. Test drive a new 2023 Chevy Silverado and check out the huge selection of pre-owned vehicles at Roman Chevrolet, 2313 West Main Independence, your Silverado city. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? Owner Stephanie Bean with Medical Lodges is proud to supply that tender care in Coffeyville. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are all offered. Visit medicallodges.com or stop by 2921 West 1st in Coffeyville and learn more. Medical. Red Ravens lead at 24-16, 7.38 to go first half. I'm Shay Neal, US 98, the Red Ravens Sports Network. So happy you're with us here on this Friday night. A couple starters back in for the Ravens. Janai Summers, number four. Javen Kofer, number one. As well as Chris Carroll, number 15. Nice move there by Goff Brown. Had it deflected. CJ Smith coming out of the pack trying to get the ball. And a foul. Foul will be against Kitchens. Carroll will inbound it to Kofer. Javen getting his first. Kofer, top of the key. Walking up, now gets a screen from Isaac Jackson. Kofer, hand off to Chris Carroll. 10 to shoot for the Ravens. Carroll working left, now crossover right. At the right elbow, he's tripped. And a foul is called against the Trojans. That'll be a foul on Delonte Shannon. Shannon thought that Carroll hooked his arm around him, and he wanted an offensive foul. But it is a foul against the Trojans, and Carroll draws contact. It'll be a baseline inbound. 
Inbounds play goes to Carroll. Carroll on the baseline, trying to back his way down. Carroll goes up, puts it in. Chris Carroll has nine tonight. Ravens with their first double-digit lead. They're up 26-16 with 6.55 to go in the half. Three for Kitchens is off, and the rebound. Kofer chased it down, kept it alive, and got it to Isaac Jackson. Great hustle by Javen Kofer. Three in the corner for C.J. Smith. A little strong rebound collected by Walden. Ravens playing so smooth on the offensive end, really on both ends of the floor as there's a foul against Summers in transition. But really on both ends of the floor, this team playing so smooth that you would not believe that this team is made up of 12 new players, 11 freshmen, and really of their two returners, Isaac Jackson and Buba Karkeda, neither of them started last year. Isaac was a role player off the bench. BK only appeared in 13 games. So this is a team full of guys that have really never played college basketball consistently. And through a game in 14 minutes, they look sensational. So two shots here for Delonte Shannon. First free throw is good. Cuts the lead down to nine. One more free throw coming, and it's good. Two free throws for Delonte Shannon, the lone returner from last year's Seminole Region Championship team. Screen from Kata, Carroll, crossover at the free throw line. Carroll looking for a pass, gets it to Kofer. Kofer fakes the three. Kofer the drive, the kick to Carroll. Down low, Kata, 10 to shoot. Kata backs into a hook, a hook shot. That rolls off, Jackson tried to clean it up, no good. Kofer the rebound, Carroll for three. Chris Carroll again! 12 points for Carroll. The Ravens keep that possession alive. And the lead is up to 11 for Coffeyville here in the first half. Chris Carroll. Is that floating shot no good by Goff Brown? Here come the Ravens the other way. Kofer, left wing, now gets a screen from Kata. Hand off Jackson. Jackson to C.J. Smith. Smith will send a three, and that one too strong. Hand off, this is Walden. They work it to Jaden Parker, top of the key. Three for Parker is in and out. Rebound collected by Smith. Five minutes to go, first half. Ravens 29, Seminole 18. The Coffeyville defense once again looks strong. The Coffeyville offense again looks effective. Spinning shot by Kata, a little strong. Battle for the rebound. Isaac Jackson got a hand on it. And a foul will be called against Isaac as he went to the floor battling with Walden. We'll see Jeremiah Kemboy check back in for C.J. Smith. First year head coach Lucas Hunter at the helm of the Trojans after being an assistant at Northeastern State a season ago. 4.37 left, Parker swings it right. This is Goff Brown. Goff Brown guarded by Carroll. Now works it down low. And had it poked out of bounds. That's a turnover off the fingertips of Dominic Turner. For those of you wanting to know about the Field Kinley High School playoff game, the NATO just punched it in, took a 7-0 lead early second quarter out there in Wellington. Kemboy, Kofer. Back to Kemboy, who's looked really good tonight. His minutes playing in place of Brian Griffith. Chris Carroll, down low, this is Kata. Kata spinning, nice move. BK missed it, got his own rebound, and back up and he's fouled. Bubakar Kata, relentless on the offensive glass. And he'll go to the free throw line with 4.08 left in the first half. First foul against Goff Brown, and Kata at the free throw line. Kata two, with, two of two at the line tonight. Ravens have been a very good free throw shooting team to start the season. First one a little short.
Final media time out of the half coming after we go under the four minute mark. Second free throw on the way from Kada. He's got four points so far tonight. And one of the best blocks we've seen all year. Make it five as he hits the second free throw. Five points for BK. Ravens lead it by a dozen, 30 to 18. 403 left in the first half, and that's a foul against Chris Carroll. First foul of the night against Carroll. Carroll's got 12. He's not quite on pace for the 29 he scored on Wednesday, but he is on pace for about 25. What a first three halves to his Coffeyville career. Jaden Parker. Walden guarded by Carroll. Now Kemboy all over Goff Brown at the top of the key. Goff Brown trying to break him down. And now hands it off to Shannon. Eight to shoot. Shannon trying to break down Kofer. Step back three. Good defense by Kofer. And that'll be an, a sell and a technical foul against Shannon as he fell into Kofer trying to draw the contact. And that's a technical foul now for a flop. <laughs> Jay Herkelman having a little bit of fun there with the officials. We hit a media timeout. The Ravens will have a technical free throw when we come back. 3.37 left in the half, 30 to 18, Red Ravens. It'll be free throws for Coffeyville when we come back in 60 seconds on US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. Is Community State Bank at work? This is Community State Bank at work in our community. From kids' activities to school programs to funding home and business loans, every day Community State Bank is at work in our neighborhood. Whether you bank at Community State Bank or not, they're working for you every day. Community State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Mike Avey, and at Community State Bank, we believe in Coffeeville. If you could use a little help around the house, Windsor Place at-home care is the perfect solution for you. Their caregivers are prepared to help you with laundry, meals, housekeeping, shopping, and more. These helpful services are so reasonably priced, you can afford to pay for them yourself. In many cases, long-term care insurance or other sources provide assistance with the cost. Home is where the help is. Call Windsor Place at Home Care, 800-982. Red Ravens leading at 30 to 18 as we run Shea Neal. Happy you're with us here on this Friday night. Ravens up by a dozen. It'll be a, a technical free throw for Chris Carroll for the flopping foul called against Seminole State. Carroll's free throw is good. Chris Carroll, 13 points now in the first half tonight. He has not missed a free throw yet this season. He's 9 for 9 at the charity stripe. What a start to the Red Raven career of Chris Carroll. I'm running out of ways to say how good Chris Carroll's been through his first two games as a Coffeeville Red Raven. Three and a half to go in the first half. Ravens have the basketball up 31 to 18. Chris Carroll gets a screen from Kada. And now Kofer. Kofer looking for Kada, but it's denied by Parker. Kemboy going right. Kemboy hands off to Chris Carroll. Big screen from Kemboy. Pull up jump shot. That one off. Rebound Parker. Kada got a hand on it, and it will be Seminole State basketball. Kada not. Has only gotten a handful of offensive rebounds tonight, but it feels like he's gotten his hand on almost every single one of them. He is all over the place down low, and that's on both sides of the ball. He has a couple big-time rejections tonight on defense. Three minutes to go, first half. Ravens by 13. Seminole State basketball. They have been stuck on 18 points for quite a bit now. Three-pointer for Walden is too strong. Rebound, Chris Carroll. Ravens trying to build on this lead before they go to the break. Nice behind the back move by Kofer. Kofer hands it off to Kemboy. Kemboy trying to get inside. Carroll deep three, and he puts it in. Nothing but net from Chris Carroll. 16 for the sophomore Hutchinson transfer. And the Ravens lead it by 16. 34-18 our score. Kitchens hands it off. This is Weber going baseline. Weber trying to go up and a little bit too strong. Ravens get the rebound. 
Ravens trying to build on their largest lead of the night. Kofer, handoff, Carroll. Carroll fakes this time, going right at Kitchens, behind the back, and one! Chris Carroll, it's his world, and we're just living in it. Foul on Goff Brown, and Chris Carroll has emerged as a superstar. Time out, Seminole State. There's a new forward in town in Coffeeville, and he is pretty dang good at this basketball thing. 18 points for Carroll. Ravens lead at 36-18. We're back in 60 seconds. Community College, you can be you. We can make you workforce ready at one of our technical campuses, be a student athlete, join an honors program or an activity, have a voice with student government, and be involved with student life events. Our school believes in our red and white traditions, providing you with a quality education and preparing you for the next journey in life. Once you experience our campus, you know you've made the right choice. Let us help you make our story your story and become Raven Pro. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton and Independence Kansas. The timeout, but he's still got 18 in the first half. Ravens up 18, 36 to 18. That'll be a foul against Jeremiah Kemboy on the defensive end. Kemboy playing tonight for Brian Griffith, who's out with an illness. We hope to have Brian back tomorrow, but right now it's Javen Kofer getting the start at point guard, his first career start, and Jeremiah Kemboy getting the backup point guard spot. Minute 48 to go, first half. Seminole State has been struggling for a basket here for a couple minutes now. Jaden Parker hands it off to Kitchens. Kitchens had four points early in his time tonight. Parker straight on three. That is off. Rebound collected by Carroll. Here comes Kofer. Under 90 seconds to go in the first half. Isaac Jackson has the basketball. Down low, this is Kata. Kata trying to go at Parker. Nice spin move, and BK lays it in. Seven points for Kata in the first half. Ravens up 20. Under a minute to go, first half. Ravens by 20. Goff Brown for three is off. Kitchens the offensive rebound. Trying to go underneath the basket. Kicks it out. Parker fakes the three. Got a step on Kata. The kick to the corner. Extra pass. Three for Weber is off. Rebound Kata. 45 seconds left, first half. Ravens with the basketball up by 20. Their largest lead of the night. Kofer all the way. Blocked by Kitchens. It'll stay with Coffeyville. And now we'll see the return of Corey Upkins for the Trojans. Timeout on the floor. Timeout Ravens taken with 43.8 to go in the half. Ravens up 38-18. Let's step away for 30 seconds. We'll be right back on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. There on the summit awaits the all-new filet lace steak bowl from Taco Mayo. A heaping bowl filled with Mexican favorites and literally erupting with filet mignon. The filet ole steak bowl can be yours if you make it past Chuck Steak Canyon and the deadly sirloin abyss. Filet mignon beckons, my friend, on the meaty, mighty pinnacle of beefdom. The filet ole steak bowl from Taco Mayo. Welcome to Meat Mountain. Back here, Ravens take a quick timeout with 43. 18. 18 first half points from Chris Carroll. Seven for Bubakar Keita. We've also seen some great contributions from Jeremiah Kemboy tonight in the first half. As they get it to Carroll in the corner. Carroll fakes the three. Double team comes, and Carroll called for the travel. Raven fans won a foul, of course, before the walk. So now Seminole State basketball, 35 seconds left in the half. Ravens will have the final shot if they choose. Goff Brown 
Started off strong tonight, but since then has struggled with his shot. He has the basketball now on the right wing. Gets a screen. Kata switches on. Now a deep three from Goff Brown, and he drilled it. A little bit too much space there given to the leading scorer for the Trojans. Ten seconds left in the half. Ravens up 17. Kofer walks up to the half-court line. Now drawing up a play. Five seconds. Kofer's got to go. Attacks. Kicks. Kemboy a three. And a little strong. Jackson got a hand on it. He was fouled before the clock expired. And now they're going to say the clock expired. Excuse me. The Jackson uh, foul occurred after the whistle, and that's halftime here in Nellis Hall. Ravens lead it at the break, 38-21. Chris Carroll continues his red-hot start to his Red Raven career. Coffeyville all over this one. Let's step away for two minutes when we come back. We'll hear from Coach Herkelman during the halftime report as he tells us everything we need to know about this matchup as we head towards the second half. We'll be back in two minutes with Coach Herkelman on US 98, the Red Raven Sports Network. NDB can protect your assets and save you money. They represent numerous insurance companies so that they can help you find the right insurance at the right price for you. NDB at 812 West 11th in Coffeyville. Call Ben Veets at 620-251-1970 and relax. At Coffeyville Regional Medical Center, we take seriously our responsibility of caring for our friends and neighbors. We are your regional health care system caring for Southeast Kansas and Northeast Oklahoma. With comprehensive technology and experienced medical staff, caring medical professionals, and a 24-hour emergency room staffed with emergency medicine physicians, we are people you know and healthcare you trust. For more information, visit our website, crmcinc.org. Ralph, did you pay the electric bill? Yes, Donna. I paid it using Community State Bank's online bill you pay. You know, you can save a lot of time using online bill pay from Community State Bank. Yes, Donna. I know, and it's really easy. It's really easy. easy, too. Just log in to our Community State Bank account. And sign up for Community State Bank's online and bill pay. And sign up for online bill pay. Yes, Donna. We can do that for all of our and bills. You can do that for all of our bills. Yes, Donna. Community State Bank is almost as smart as you are. Well, thank you, Ralph. Glad I could help. I love you, Ralph. Community State Bank. Member FDIC. I love you too, Donna. It's truck season at Roman Chevrolet. All 2023 Chevy Silverados qualify for 0% interest. No payments for 90 days and $1,000 cash allowance for qualified buyers. We have a great selection of Silverados and 2024 models are showing up daily. Roman Chevrolet will donate $5 to the American Cancer Society for every social media post shared. The goal is to donate $170,000. Test drive a new 2023 Chevy Silverado and check out the huge selection of pre-owned vehicles at Roman Chevrolet 2313 West Main Independence, your Silverado City. able to build a nice lead by halftime and then the second half being able to maintain that same energy level we were locked in pretty good defensively the whole game uh, and obviously on the offensive end we we moved the ball and, and made some shots and got things going a little bit in transition and so yeah for first game and just a lot of unknowns in that first game with so many new guys um, yeah, I was really pleased with it. And, Coach, another thing that uh, stood out to me when we were breaking down the game after it was over was uh, just all the all the facets that really uh, seemed to add up to winning basketball. Your team, 
did at a high level, shooting 81% of the free throw line, winning the rebound battle uh, by 18 rebounds over Fort Scott, having more assists. Uh, I believe he finished the game with uh, 14 team assists uh, in that game. And he also forced 19 Greyhounds turnovers. So not just, you know, putting up 91 points will win you a lot of games, but I think uh, seeing the, the free throw percentage up, seeing the forced turnovers up, seeing the rebound battle won, I think, uh, you know, all the little things being a plus two for such a young team is exciting. Yeah, I mean, we yeah we we did do a nice job on the line. Um, Isaac was unbelievable on the boards. Uh, I think he had somewhere between sixteen and eighteen rebounds, and his energy level um, on the defensive end, just being disruptive, making some steals uh, in the press, plus in the half court uh, defense. But just the way he was going and attacking boards. Um, the rest of the guys fed off of that stuff, and and uh, you know I, I thought we had some errors, you know, with turnovers that we can correct. But for the first game, I thought our turnover uh, numbers were pretty good for as fast. I mean, we want to we want to play up tempo, and you're going to have some turnovers doing that. But I thought our guys, for the most part, did a good job taking care of the ball. And bouncing off that point, because I'm glad you brought that up, uh, a guy that was really impressive to me, one of your uh, freshman point guards, Javen Kofer, who played 22 minutes off the bench. Uh, he ended his day with six assists and did not turn the ball over, also got a couple steals. Uh, of course, uh, one of the things we, uh, we've talked about is, of course, you like to run an up-tempo offense that has a lot of movement, a lot of uh, quickness to it, and having two freshman point guards, obviously it'll be a, a growing experience and a learning experience, but I think both of your freshmen held their own, and I was very impressed with Topher off the bench. Yeah, and Javen, you know, and Brian, they which one is our starting point guard, I really don't know yet. Uh, Brian got the nod, you know, the other night. Uh, Javen will tonight. Um, and then we're also kind of up in the air. And he was going to start anyway, but we're kind of up in the air. Brian's been sick, uh, so we're not sure if he's even going to be able to play. It's going to be kind of a game-time decision on him. Uh, so then our next point guards are guys that don't have a lot of experience. But uh, Javen's in great shape as long as he stays out of foul trouble. And, and uh, um, you know, the media timeouts that we have now, are going to help this situation with him. Um, he's a durable guy. He's tough. and Yeah, those two guys out there for us, uh, even though they're both new, they're both freshmen, they're both going to have some learning pains, um, you know, I feel real good about our point guard situation. Coach, a uh, couple before we get into the, you know, the guy that was really the star of the show on Wednesday. Uh, your uh, two freshman wings, Janai Summers and C.J. Smith, both of who uh, played some pretty heavy minutes against – Fort Scott. Uh, I thought I was impressed with both. They had 13 points and 12 points respectively. Uh, long body, six seven and six six. Uh, got some rebounds. Were moving the ball well. Seemed like they really fit into the flow of that offense very well. And one of the things that I was really uh, impressed with was not just those two, but a lot of your guys. Uh, it felt like it was just kind of a plug and play where you were running the system uh, very similarly to the tempo that you ran last year, and you were just taking guys and plugging them in, and they they didn't stick out, which is a good sign. Yeah, both those guys are pretty versatile guys. Um, you know, in good length and playing out on the wing, so that gives us a big uh, lineup in there. Long guys, you know, with Chris at six six and big body two thirty, and then the other two at six seven and six six, and both athletic. Uh, gives us some good length out there, um, and both are skilled. Um, Janai will probably be starting tonight. You know, it's just kind of the same situation as the point guard spot. You know, it's it's nice to have. Uh, a little bit of talent in those positions and you know just try out different guys and see how they do and we're still early in the year trying to figure out our rotation but both those guys played well and coach last thing before we move into this matchup with Seminole State of course 29 points uh, for Chris Carroll in his Red Raven debut I, I mentioned to uh, coach Odom I'm not sure what the, the record is for most points in a CCC debut but I figure it's up there yeah. um, but uh, started the game off uh, you know struggling a little bit with the shot uh, but of course uh, five of eight from three, did not miss from the free throw line, uh, only one turnover as well. But I think the big thing that stood out to me, the 29 points is nice. But after getting off to a little bit of a slow start with the shot, he stayed composed, uh, he stayed locked in, and he ended up putting up 29 points, which I think speaks volumes to his ability as a scorer. Yeah, uh, early on, you just what you said, he struggled. Missed some shots that he makes. Um, you know, one time he looked over at me and I said, what do you want me to do? 
I said, make a shot. You know, I said, I'm going to keep calling things for you. And uh, we kind of joked about it yesterday at practice. But uh, And he said, I'm going to keep shooting. I said, I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he's just shown the ability to be able to do it. And uh, he scores different ways with, with – you know, being able to be skilled and like he is and make threes. I think he was five for eight from three. Um, but then he's strong off the dribble. And then the other thing, he, he makes free throws. Uh, he was eight for eight from the free throw line. And so far this year, he's proven to be our best free throw shooter. So, yeah, he can score it, uh, as people like in basketball world like to say at all three levels. And he's a guy that's capable of doing that. Coach, this Seminole State team, of course, very different from uh, the team a year ago that went 25-8 and eight and won Region 2 and went to the national tournament, only one returning player from that team a year ago. Uh, but, of course, uh, just speaking from you know the program success of recent uh, note in program history, uh, this is a very talented team that has a lot of really good basketball in its uh, recent memory and a very efficient offensive team that averaged 95 last year, maybe not at that same level this year, but they still put up 83 in their season debut yeah a uh, team that we've played pretty regular in the past um we haven't so much the last couple of years but uh uh excited to get them back on the schedule we're going to play a home and home with them this year um uh, you know this game had to get flip-flopped we originally were going to play at their place on the first game and at our place the second game but they were having problems with their scoreboard so we we flipped it and um, happy to have them coming in here. Uh, yeah, they got a first year coach. Um, and, uh, we, we, we've got a scrimmage game that was from October 1st. Uh, so we don't have a lot on them. Um, a little bit on personnel, but, uh, we'll just have to kind of make adjustments as the game goes on and uh, as you got to do a lot in the early season. But, uh, excited that, uh, we got Seminole back on the schedule. It's a, it's a good quality game and it's not too far away. Uh, Coach, this uh, this team has a reputation for shooting and scoring the ball at a very efficient rate. They shot about 55% from the floor a year ago. They shot 54% from the floor uh, in their first game of the year, which was a 10-point win. Uh, so with that being said, of course, you have a lot of length on the wings and inside and a lot of uh, really athletic guys. But what's the key to making them work for tougher shots tonight? Well, what I talked to our guys about yesterday uh, before we watched some film uh, was, okay, we did a great job with our energy level and people were locked in uh, because of that on the defensive end and now you got to be able to repeat it because that's just, that's what led us to our success the other night and we got to be able to do that again especially the way we're playing with the way we're pressing um, a lot uh, more so than we have in the past we're, we're pressing on free throws and dead balls and, and uh, field goals and we got a couple different presses that we run, and so being able to do that uh, successfully, you got to have a good level of energy out there on the floor, and because uh, you want to do that, but if you don't have that energy level, then they're going to get easy buckets. So that's uh, that's one of the keys to it, and then uh, just playing our rules, uh, like, like we talk about a lot. Our rules don't change game to game. Um, you know, and in the course of the game, we'll figure out what these guys like to do, and then we'll talk about things at timeouts or, or at halftime and make adjustments where needed. Coach, uh, one game a very small sample size, but in the first game of the year for Seminole State, they took 74 shots as a team, 48 of, shot, of those shots by the trio of Kalen Goff, Brown, Nehemiah Weber, and Jaden Parker. Those three really seem to be their high-priority scorers. Uh, with that being said, is uh, your, one of your goals on defense to maybe slow down one or two of those guys and uh, really put pressure on them to spread the wealth offensively? Yeah, we'll just we'll key on those guys. Uh, obviously, the guys will be um, aware of when they're guarding them, and it's got to be everybody aware of them because when we're pressing, there's a lot of times you're not matched up with the original guy we told you you were going to guard, and also with switching. And so each guy is on the floor has got to know you know what what they can do if they're a three point shooter, if they're a driver, how they can score it. So personnel stuff is real big. 
But those three guys are going to be key for us tonight on the defensive end. And, Coach, final thing I have for you. Appreciate your time. Lucas Hunter, like you mentioned, the new coach of Seminole State. He was an assistant at D2 Northeastern State yeah. uh, in the, uh, at his most recent stop. Uh, obviously, uh, maybe don't have a ton of knowledge of Coach Hunter, but uh, when you're facing off against a first-year coach with a program, uh, what are some of those uh, signs you look for early in the game to kind of get a read for what their uh, their style is? Well, one thing, uh, Lucas worked for Jay Havens down at Northeastern State um, before he took the job at Seminole. And uh, one of the things I saw in their scrimmage is they run a lot of the five-man motion stuff that NSU did last week in our scrimmage. So that's what I told our guys is, you know, they're not going to be the identical, but they're going to have a lot of similarities to that team, uh, to their style of play. It's just natural that you take what you've learned there and take it in your first year of coaching um, and, and try to do some of that stuff that you were successful at. So... It'll be some stuff that it's similar to that. And then, like I say, as the game goes on, we'll we'll make adjustments as we have to. Red Ravens look for a 2-0 start at Nellis Hall in 2023. They take on Seminole State tonight. Coach Herkelman, good enough to join us. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Thank you. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, Ravens lead this one 38-21. Second half just underway here at Nellis Hall. I'm Shane Hill. It's US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. Isaac Jackson going baseline. Had it poked the last minute by Shannon. And that's a turnover. That'll keep the ball back to the Trojans. Ravens played a great first half. Led it 38-21 at the break. Chris Carroll, 18 points. Buba Carcata with seven. Raven defense has been sharp as Isaac Jackson gets the stop there. Here comes Kofer the other way. Kofer starting in place of Brian Griffith tonight, who's out with an illness. Carroll swings it to Kofer. Kofer to Janai Summers. Down low, Jackson. Jackson was grabbed. No foul call. He goes up and misses the shot. And Jackson can't believe no foul was called. Three from Shannon in transition is off. Kata couldn't pull down the rebound, and that's a foul on Jackson. Second foul against Isaac. It'll be an inbounds play here for Seminole. 18.47 to go. Something the Ravens did have issues with last year early in the season was hanging on to halftime leads. So obviously 17 points, big difference from maybe seven points, but Coffeyville did have about a 10 game stretch at the start of last season as Goff Brown misses the turnaround jump shot. Jackson trying to pull down the rebound and does. But about a 10-game stretch last year for the Ravens where they were vulnerable in the second half. Kata goes up with a spinning shot, and he's fouled by Parker. They'll actually call the foul on Walden. But Bubakar Kata heading back to the free throw line. He's already got a career-high seven points tonight. Looking to add on to it. One of the best blocks of the year we've seen so far as well from BK is... He chased down a breakaway layup and swatted it off the rim. First free throw from Kata is good. Second free throw from BK up and off. One out of two for Bubakar. He's got eight. Ravens up by 18. Goff Brown, nice move inside, and the floater rolls off. Kofer. Kofer working left, looking for Summers on a little fade. Three-point shot is good. Janai Summers from downtown. Ravens with a 21-point lead. Perfect pass from Kofer. Nice shot from Summers. 42-21. The Ravens have doubled up the Trojans. 17-51 to go. And Weber hands it off. This is Goff Brown. Parker on the left elbow. Fakes trying to go at Kata. 
And the layup is good over the outstretched arm of BK. Raven basketball, Summers the drive, pull up jump shot, is good. Janai Summers with back-to-back -back scores on back-to-back -back possessions. 44th, 23 Red Ravens. As this freshman from Evansville, Indiana, showing his ability on the offensive end. Three minutes into the second half, Ravens lead it by 21. The drive, Shannon, tough finish as he got around the right side of Javen Kofer. Good attack there from Delonte Shannon. The drive by Summer. Summer step back jump shot. It's good. Three straight scores from Janai Summers. He's taken over early in the second half. Cross court pass. This is Goff Brown handing it off to Walden. Walden Shannon. Quick ball movement here by the Trojans. Goff Brown. Walden will take a three from the left wing. In and out, offensive rebound dunk from Shannon. Delonte Shannon back-to-back -back scores. And we'll send Alvin Cole to the scorer's table for the Ravens. Jackson hands it off to Chris Carroll. Carroll for three. And that one off the left rim, no good. Kata fighting for the rebound. It ends up with Kofer. Kofer hands it off to BK, who lost it going up. It'll be Raven basketball. Chris Carroll had 18 in that first half, but that was his first shot of the second half. It's been the Janai Summers show so far after the intermission. Seven points on the last three possessions for Janai. Carroll spinning off the inbounds pass, going up at the de defense, and Carroll is fouled by the big man Parker. So Chris Carroll will go to the free throw line. Carroll, Carroll on the night is... One of two at the free throw line, but he's nine of ten at the stripe to start the season. And Jay Herkelman said, of course, in the pregame that we played at halftime, uh, that Chris Carroll so far has emerged as the best free throw shooter on this team. First free throw, nothing but net. I think Chris Carroll through two games has emerged as the best on the team at a lot of things. 19 points for Carroll, second free throw on the way. It's up and it's short. 19 for Carroll, 20 point lead for the Ravens with 15.56 to go. Jaden Parker, Parker gets it to Walden at the top. And off to Kitchens, Caden Kitchens. Walden fakes the three, Walden on the left elbow, hands it off to Shannon. Shannon spinning, Shannon scored back to back possessions but this time he throws it right to Isaac Jackson. Janai Summers in transition, he's been feeling it since the break, no good, Cole got a hand on it. But it's cleaned up by Waldron. Or Walden, excuse me. Seal Waldron. Kitchens hands it off to Weber. Weber deep three, and it's off the left rim. No good. Jackson one arms the rebound. Kofer bringing it up. 47 27 Ravens. 15 07 to go. Cole on the baseline. Guarded by Parker. Now back to Kofer. Carroll fakes the three. Carroll trying to go right at Weber. Spinning, hands it off, Summers. Nice fake by Janai, takes the deep two and hits it. It's been a fantastic second half for Janai Summers. He scores off the assist from Chris Carroll. Fourteen thirty-six to go, 15 to shoot for the Trojans. They're down 22. Shannon. On the left wing, trying to dance around Alvin Cole. Goes up, very tough shot, and he drilled it. What a shot by Delonte Shannon. And that brings us to our first time out of the second half. 14-26, but it's just a 30 second, so we'll stay here. Great start to the second half for Janai Summers, but now it will be a media timeout, so we will take it. 60 second break, Ravens 49. And Seminole State 29, Janai Summers off to a great start in the second half. We'll be back in 60 seconds on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network.
Here at Coffeyville Community College, you can be you. We can make you workforce ready at one of our technical campuses, be a student athlete, join an honors program or an activity, have a voice with student government, and be involved with student life events. Our school believes in our red and white traditions, providing you with a quality education and preparing you for the next journey in life. Once you experience our campus, you know you've made the right choice. Let us help you make our story your story and become Raven Proud. If you could use a little help around the house, Windsor Place at Home Care is the perfect solution for you. Their caregivers are prepared to help you with laundry, meals, housekeeping, shopping, and more. These helpful services are so reasonably priced, you can afford to pay for them yourself. In many cases, long term care insurance or other sources provide assistance with the cost. Home is where the help is. Call Windsor Place at Home Care, 800 982 one eight six six. Red Raven basketball. US ninety eight Red Raven Sports Network. Hi, I'm Shane Neal. Happy Friday night. Good to have college basketball back in Southeast Kansas. Ravens lead it by twenty. Jeremiah Kemboy as well as C.J. Smith return for the Ravens. Carroll, good look for three on the right wing. It's good. Twenty two points for Chris Carroll. And the Ravens lead it by 23. That's their largest lead of the night. Shannon hits a baseline, or hits the elbow jump shot there. Shannon's been the best scorer for Seminole here in the second half. He's got eight since the break. Carroll hands it off. This is Isaac Jackson. Jackson hands it off to Kemboy. Jeremiah Kemboy swarmed by Shannon. Now gets a big screen. Kemboy looking for a pass to Alvin Cole. That floater no good. Cole battling for the rebound, but it's cleaned up by Kitchens. Ravens come up empty on that possession. And now coming the other way is the Seminole State Trojans. The drive, the kick, the pass to Walden. Walden hands it off to Shannon. Shannon, Coach Herkelman wanted a travel, didn't get the call. Parker, Weber. Five to shoot. Weber goes into a tr into a lane and draws a foul. Thirteen oh six to go. Ravens wanted to walk. Not just Coach Herkelman, but a couple players on the floor as well. Timeout on the floor. Alvin Cole limping a little bit as we come to the huddle. Let's we'll step away for sixty seconds. We'll be right back. of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture. Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Taco Mayo's new Filet Olay Steak Bowl is piled high with Fillet Minon. It's Filet Minon. A heaping bowl loaded with refried beans, Mexicali rice, cheddar jack, sour cream, and tender filet mignon. It's filet mignon. Filet mignon. A uh, filet mignon. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Savor the juicy filet ole steak bowl stacked with filet mignon and only from Taco Mayo. That's a wrap. No, yeah. that's a bowl. Back here from Coffeeville, Nellis Hall. Red Ravens lead at 52-31. I'm Shane Neal. US 98, the Red Raven Sports Network. We are having uh, some issues here with the power on the row. Uh, we are currently running on battery power. Unfortunately, I cannot promise how much battery is on this mixer. So we're going to try and get that power situation resolved as soon as possible. Uh, but 13.06 to go. Ravens lead at 52 31. Our score. This is Weber. Weber moving left. Fakes hands it off, and now they hand it off. This is Upkins. Upkins hands it off to Shannon. Shannon going up strong, missed the shot, rebound Summers. Here come the Ravens leading it by 21, 12.45 to go in this one. Kemboy with it, top of the key. Jeremiah Kemboy. Chris Carroll with it now, 15 to shoot. Carroll to Summers. Summers has been the best scorer for the Ravens since the break. Summers now trying to get it down low to Kata, Kata keeps it alive, gets it to Summers, eight to shoot. Down low to C.J. Smith, shot goes up, shot goes in. 
C.J. Smith puts it up and in, and it's all because of the hustle from Buba Carcada. 54-31, 12-12 to go. This is Weber. Weber hands it off. Shannon. Now Upkins. 12 minutes left. Ravens up by 23. And that'll be a goaltend against Kada. Excuse me, they're going to say no goaltend. Fouls on Kemboy for the block. And it will be an and one because of the goaltend, I believe is the, the call. Yes, they will say basket counts, goaltending on Kada, and also a blocking foul against Kemboy. So it will be Weber going for the three-point play on a pretty funky play there. Again, if you're just now joining us, uh, Field Kinley tied at seven at the half with Wellington over on Sunshine 98.9. We also have uh, the Lady Ravens who were in action over in Arkansas earlier tonight. They got the win 61-39. So congratulations to Tony Turner and that squad for their 2-0 start to the season. Looking very impressive so far. And now free throw coming here for Nehemiah Weber. Fifty-four, thirty-four, eleven, fifty-five left. Janai Summers with it gets a screen from Kada. Pick and roll. Kada backing down the smaller kitchens. And now she hands it off to C.J. Smith. Smith spinning, gets it to Carroll. Carroll with twelve to shoot. Carroll attacking left. Carroll hands it off to Kada. Kada goes up, had it stripped. Carroll trying to get it back. He does five to shoot for the Ravens. And no, excuse me, the shot clock reset. And I believe yeah, they're going to tell to put four seconds on it. And we'll have a media timeout. 11.33 to go. We're going to step away for 90 seconds. Ravens up 54-34. We're going to try and get this power situation resolved. We're back in 90 on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. Or even a boat. Do you rent or own your own home? If you have any of these, call NDB in Coffeeville and then relax. NDB can protect your assets and save you money. They represent numerous insurance companies so that they can help you find the right insurance at the right price for you. NDB at 812 West 11th in Coffeeville. Call Ben Veets at 620-251-1970 and relax. In a life-threatening emergency, physicians matter. That's why at Coffeyville Regional Medical Center, we staff our emergency room with emergency medicine physicians 24 hours a day, seven days a week. ER physicians at CRMC have access to general surgeons, specialists, medical imaging, lab services, and the technology needed in an emergency, all right here. If you are faced with a life-threatening emergency, insist on the best and say, take me to CRMC. It's truck season at Roman Chevrolet. All 2023 Chevy Silverados qualify for 0% interest, no payments for 90 days, and $1,000 cash allowance for qualified buyers. We have a great selection of Silverados, and 2024 models are showing up daily. Roman Chevrolet will donate $5 to the American Cancer Society for every social media post shared. The goal is to donate $170,000. Test drive a new 2023 Chevy Silverado and check out the huge selection of pre-owned vehicles at Roman Chevrolet, 2313 West Main Independence, your Silverado city. Ravens lead at 54-34, 11-33 to go in this one. And C.J. Smith knocks down the triple out of the timeout. Fifty-seven thirty-four. Ravens, 11-16 to go in this one. Goff Brown hands it off to Shannon. Shannon spinning, going up, tough shot, missed it, but he's fouled. CJ Smith was calling for the foul there. That's his second. Shannon's first free throw. Up and good. And now the scoreboard clock goes out. So the power issues continue here in Nellis Hall. An immediate blame cast to Andrew. 
Well, we've had a very odd second half here. About four minutes ago, we had the power, what seemed to be the power uh, supply. It. And now we have it resolved. Roaring applause. Andrew Elrod delivers the biggest shot of the night. <laughs> The battery was low, emotions were high, and Andrew Elrod, cool under pressure. 22-point lead as the free throw is split there by Seminole State. Kenboy brings it up, 11 minutes to go, 57-36. Janai Summers, screen from Kata, hands it off to C.J. Smith. Kenboy back with it, left wing, 15 to shoot, Chris Carroll. Carroll working left. Carroll attack. Missed it. Kata on the glass. And BK puts it up and in. Booba Carr, Kata. And that all. Carroll's quickness got the defense out of position. Kata there to clean it up. Those two have been a dynamic duo tonight. Ten and a half to go. Ravens 59. Seminole State 36. Coffeyville trying to win their second consecutive game to start the season. Kitchens. Had it poked, BK with the steal. Kenboy coming the other way. Jeremiah Kenboy gets a screen from Kata. Now spinning, hands it off to Carroll. Deep three, Chris Carroll, that is off. And the rebound collected by Corey Upkins. 10.05 to go, 59-36. Ravens lead it by 23. Goff Brown going at Kenboy. Tough fading jump shot is good. Leading scorer. For Seminole State, comes up hobbling a little bit on that left ankle. And that'll be Seminole basketball as the Ravens turn it over. We'll see Javen Kofer and Isaac Jackson check in for C.J. Smith and Jeremiah Kemboy. Inbounds play here for the Trojans. Goff Brown off a screen, lets it go for three, in and out. Rebound Isaac Jackson. Goff Brown, the leading scorer for the Trojans this year, and for the most part tonight, the Ravens have done a nice job slowing him down. Janai Summers takes the three. Summers, it's off. Rebound collected by Luke Parrish. Parrish, crossover move. Parrish, the drive. Kitchens fakes the three. They work it around. Upkins. Goff Brown with it. 15 to shoot. Takes a tough shot. In and out. Rebound taken by Bubakar Keita. Ravens walk it up. 9.05 to go. They lead it 59-38. A little bit of a slow stretch offensively here for the Ravens. They have not scored in the last couple minutes. Isaac Jackson hands it off to Janai Summers. Summers off a screen, working left. Now gets it down low to Kata in the post. Kata attacking, double team comes. BK. And it'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow stays with the Ravens. Raven bench wanted a foul. Did not get it. And a theme we've seen in the first two games of the year, BK's done a lot of things right. He gets in beautiful position in the post. He's done a great job of getting space. Isaac Jackson jump shot off the inbounds is good. Isaac Jackson puts it up and in. But BK's done a great job getting in position for post moves. And so far has just sometimes gotten himself trapped. Which is, you know, something you'd expect from a young starter. That one blocked by the Raven defense. Here they come the other way. Moving fast. Chris Carroll on the left side. Carroll slows down. Now hands it off to Summers. Summers gets a step. Floater in the lane. In and out. Battle for the rebound. Kata comes away with it. Second chance for the Ravens. Kofer fakes the three. Kofer on the drive. Javen Kofer lays it in. Kata cleaned up the rebound, and Kofer able to score it on the other end. 25-point lead for the Ravens, and driving and scoring there is Weber as he beats Kata on the baseline. Eight minutes to go. Ravens 63, Trojans 40. US 98, the Red Raven Sports Network. So happy you're with us here for this Friday night presentation of Red Raven Basketball. What a fun opening week it's been. Chris Carroll down low, Isaac Jackson. Jackson goes up, had it blocked by Kitchens, kept it alive, but threw it right to Luke Parrish. Next dead ball will be a media timeout, but right now Seminole trying to trim into this lead. Weber behind the back going at Chris Carroll, now hands it off to Kitchens. Shannon guarded by Kofer, tries to get it down low to Upkins. Kata hits the deck, and Upkins missed the shot. 
Summers will bring it up. Ravens lead by 23. They're slowing it down. Kata got lucky there as he got caught out of position, but the shot was missed by Corey Upkins. Kofer hands off Summers. Summers looking for a screen. Now attacking right side. Summers throws it up. Missed it. Got his own rebound and scores it. What a second half for Janai Summers. And it's a 25-point lead yet again for Coffeyville with seven to go. 65-40 Red Ravens all over the Seminole State Trojans tonight. Shannon, tough elbow jump shot, short, rebound Isaac Jackson. Ravens trying to put the Trojans away right now, Kofer. And Kofer calls timeout with 6.43 to go. Jay Herkelman wants to draw up a play to put this Trojans team away for the night. 6.43 left, Ravens up 25. Let's step away for 60 seconds. We'll be right back on US 98 and the Red Ravens Sports Network. for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? Owner Stephanie Bean with Medical Lodges is proud to supply that tender care in Coffeyville. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are all offered. Visit medicallodges.com or stop by 2921 West 1st in Coffeyville and learn more. Medical Lodges Coffeyville, where they serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. Does your your business need radio communications facilities? KCD Towers has tower space available. They can meet your needs in Chautauqua, Montgomery, and Labette counties in southeast Kansas, and Osage, Washington, and Nevada counties in northeast Oklahoma with expanded coverage across the area. Tower space for cellular or two-way communications? Let's talk. Call Kevin Potter, 918-336-1001, or go online to BartlesvilleRadio.com and click on Rent Tower Space under the contact tab. Start your communications outreach today. Ravens lead at 65 43 to go. I'm Shane Neal, US 98, the Red Ravens Sports Network, here on Friday night. If you're just now joining us, Field Kinley tied at seven at the half with Wellington and the Lady Ravens over in Harrison, Arkansas at the North Ark Classic this weekend. They get the win over Crowder College, 61 39. So the Lady Ravens 2 0, and the men six minutes and 43 seconds away from following them into that 2 0 start. Javen Kofer gets the inbounds pass. Malachi Taylor in for the Ravens. Kofer gets it to Carroll. Carroll driving inside. Chris Carroll missed it. Cole got a hand on it, got it back to Kofer. Ravens with a second chance. Co and Chris Carroll with it. Carroll trying to go right, and he traveled, taking an extra shuffle. 6.25 to go. Ravens turn it over. Seminoles would have to go on one heck of a run to get this down to a workable game here in the final six minutes. This is Dominic Turner. Turner hands it off to Luke Parrish. Parrish driving at Kofer, and a foul is called. That'll be a reach. I believe that'll be on Malachi Taylor. It is. First foul on Taylor, 6-12 to go. Five fouls against the Ravens here in the second half, two on the Trojans. Inbounds goes to Weber. Weber, nice move. Gets it to Jaden Parker. Parker with a nice move inside and scores, going against the smaller Kofer. We go under six minutes to go. 65-42, Red Ravens lead. It was not the same offense. It has not been the same offense we saw on Wednesday night, but a young team has been in firm control on the defensive end for back-to-back -back games. Carroll inside, and one. Chris Carroll drawing the foul on Turner. Carroll now up to 24 with a chance to make it 25 at the free throw line. The team's defense through two games has been elite. The team's offense has shown a lot of potential. Chris Carroll has been one of the best scorers in America. Free throw up and good. 25 for Chris Carroll. He has scored a combined 54 points in his first two games as a Raven. 68-42, 5.37 to go. Turner, the drive, might have gotten away with an extra step there. Hands it off to Parker. Parker, elbow jump shot, too strong. Rebound, Isaac Jackson. Kofer, bringing it back the other way, wanting to go fast. Chris Carroll, nice move to his left. Carroll fouled again on the way up. You cannot play defense when Chris Carroll is going that fast. He draws the foul on Luke Parrish. 
5.26 to go. Ravens with a chance to get to the 70-point plateau. Clint Carroll back at the line. He's 4 of 6 at the stripe tonight. First one good. Second free throw here for Chris Carroll. Up and it is good. 27 for Carroll. Ravens lead at 70 to 42 with 5.22 to go. Down low, this is Kitchens. Extra pass, Dominic Turner. Turner guarded by Jackson. Parrish with Malachi Taylor in his face. Missed the shot, rebound Carroll. Here comes Kofer and the Ravens. Under five minutes to go. They're trying to take a 30-point lead. Carroll gets it to Isaac Jackson. Double team comes immediately. That one tipped and stolen by Jaden Parker. Up ahead they go, and that'll be laid in by Weber with 4.48 to go. Weber gets the score in after the steal by Jaden Parker. 70-44, to 44. four and a half to go. We'll see Charles Caparasso moving over to the scorer's table. Malachi Taylor fakes the three. Malachi the drive. That one deflected and off the fingertips of Kofer. It'll be seminal basketball. Caparasso into the game. Isaac Jackson's night potentially over with 4.32 to go. The five out there for the Ravens right now. Kofer, Taylor, Carroll, Cole, and Caparasso. The floater no good there. Caparasso affected that shot by Devante or by Jaden Parker, excuse me. Malachi Taylor, 407 to go. They get it down low to Caparasso. Double team comes. Caparasso in trouble. Throws up a hook shot and hit it. Charles Caparasso comes in and gets two points quickly. The freshman out of Florida, Charles Caparasso, has now scored in each of his first two college games. The drive by Weber. Caparasso affected that shot and gets the rebound. Kofer had it stolen. Parker fakes, driving. Caparasso couldn't block that one, and Parker the layup. Jaden Parker the score, three and a half minutes to go. Ravens 72, Seminole State 46. Ravens will cruise to a 2-0 start to the season tonight. And they'll look to make it 3-0 tomorrow afternoon when they take on Southwestern JV. Carroll in the corner, trying to break down Weber. Now Kofer top of the key, 10 to shoot. Kofer, step back move, Malachi Taylor sends it for three. And off the right rim, no good by Taylor. Rebound collected by Weber. We go under three minutes to go, Ravens by 26. Their biggest lead of the night, 29. Three from Parrish is off the rim, no good, out of bounds, and Raven basketball. Final media timeout of the night, Ravens 72, Seminole State 46. Coffeeville looks good for the second straight night. Let's step away for 60 seconds. We'll be right back on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. This is Community State Bank at Work in our community. From kids' activities to school programs to funding home and business loans, every day Community State Bank is at work in our neighborhood. Whether you bank at Community State Bank or not, they're working for you every day. Community State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Mike Avey, and at Community State Bank, we believe in Coffeeville. If you could use a little help around the house, Windsor Place at-home care is the perfect solution for you. Their caregivers are prepared to help with laundry, meals, housekeeping, shopping, and more. These helpful services are so reasonably priced, you can afford to pay for them yourself. In many cases, long-term care insurance or other sources provide assistance with the cost. Home is where the help is. Call Windsor Place at-home care, 800-982-1866. Ravens lead with 2.53 to go. I'm Shane Hale. It's US 98, the Red Raven Sports Network. Happy you're with us here for this Friday night presentation of Coffeeville Basketball. Lady Ravens got a big win over in Harrison, Arkansas earlier tonight. 61-39 over Crowder College. Field Kinley Nato 
in a battle right now in the second round of the playoffs against Wellington over on the Red Ra uh, over on Sunshine 98.9. Excuse me. And that's an offensive foul against Alvin Cole. Cole can't believe it. So 2.42 to go. Seminole State brings it up. Down by 26 points, but obviously trying to end this game on a strong note. These two teams do match up a little bit later this season. It's a home and home. Parker for three. It is off. Rebound Cole. Hands it off to Javen Kofer. Kofer brings it up. 2.25 left in this game. Malachi Taylor. It's Caparasso, Cole, Taylor, as well as Kofer and C.J. Smith who sends this three and missed it. Cole trying to go up for the rebound, and it's collected by Shannon. Caparasso picks up Shannon in transition. They hand it off to Kitchens. Parker working around the perimeter. The drive by Weber blocked by Caparasso. Kofer trying to lead the pack the other way. And hands it off to Cole. It was poked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Ravens with a minute 58 left. We saw a big time block from Bubakar Keda earlier in this game. We saw a big block from Charles Caparasso, the freshman on that last possession. Javen Kofer's night is over. Jeremiah Kemboy back in. And a couple changes for the Trojans as well. Smith gets the inbound. Smith hands it off to Caparasso. Caparasso, nice move to his right. Goes up strong. Had it blocked. Cole there to clean it up and lay it in. Alvin Cole. The changes for the Trojans. Number zero, Adrian Banks in, as well as number 13, Max Zavarzin. 74-46, minute 32 to go. Parrish kicks to the corner. Banks. Hands it off, Shannon for three with Cole closing in, and it's no good. Zavarsin got a hand on it, but Caparasso able to tap the rebound to Alvin Cole. Minute 20 to go, maybe two possessions left tonight for the Ravens. Malachi Taylor hands it off to Kemboy. 20 to shoot, Kemboy working to the left side. Down low they go. C.J. Smith backing down. Smith going up strong, had it blocked by Kitchens, got it back. Cross-court pass, Taylor down low to Cole. Cole had it poked and stolen by Shannon. Under a minute to go, Seminole State with some good defense down the stretch. Ravens have been a little sloppy, but Taylor comes away with the steal. 50 seconds left, Raven basketball what, for what could be the final time tonight. Smith steps into a three and missed it off the rim. Cole fighting for the rebound, comes away with it, but it's poked to Shannon. And now another Trojans possession here with 35 seconds left. Ravens have committed some turnovers down the stretch, but for the most part tonight, another clean performance, elite defense from this Coffeyville team. And even though the offense not quite as sharp as it was in the season opener, 74 points, plenty enough for the Red Ravens tonight. Kemboy should be able to dribble it out, and that should do it here tonight in Coffeyville. Kemboy will dribble it out. Red Ravens off to a 2-0 start in the 23-24 season. Final score tonight, 74-48 as the Red Ravens get the big time win over a team that was in the national tournament a season ago. Coffeyville feeling good about themselves. Two games into the year, they'll look to make it 3-0 tomorrow afternoon. Let's step away for three minutes. When we come back, the Red Raven post game show will break this one down. And we'll also be joined by assistant coach Braden Proctor as we talk this one over and get ready for tomorrow's matchup with Southwestern JV. Three minute timeout, we'll be back right after this on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. join an honors program or an activity, have a voice with student government, and be involved with student life events. Our school believes in our red and white traditions, providing you with a quality education and preparing you for the next journey in life. Once you experience our campus, you know you've made the right choice. Let us help you make our story your story and become Raven Proud. 
Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. This is Meat Mountain, and up there on the summit awaits the all-new filet o lay steak bowl from Taco Mayo. A heaping bowl filled with Mexican favorites and literally erupting with filet mignon. The filet o lay steak bowl can be yours if you make it past Chuck Steak Canyon and the deadly sirloin abyss. Filet mignon beckons, my friend, on the meaty, mighty pinnacle of beefdom. The filet o lay steak bowl from Taco Mayo. Welcome to Meat Mountain. Got a car? Maybe a motorcycle or even a boat. Do you rent or own your own home? If you have any of these, call NDB in Coffeeville and then relax. NDB can protect your assets and save you money. They represent numerous insurance companies so that they can help you find the right insurance at the right price for you. NDB at 812 West 11th in Coffeeville. Call Ben Veets at 620-251-1970 and relax. Did you deposit that check? Yes, Donna. I used Community State Bank's mobile deposit. Mobile deposit? I thought only those big out-of-town banks had that fancy stuff. Are you sure you did it right? Yes, Donna. I received an alert from Community State Bank telling me it was deposited. Alert! What did you do now? No, Donna. It was an alert I signed up for letting me know when a deposit is made. I also signed up for a low balance alert on our account and when our home loan payment is posted. Wow, that's some pretty fancy stuff from Community State Bank. Yes, Donna, pretty fancy stuff. But I can still walk right through the door or I can call and talk to a real banker when I want to. You're so smart for banking at Community State Bank, Ralph. I love you. Make your life easier with mobile banking from Community State Bank. Member FDIC. I love you too, Donna. Just a moment. Big night for Chris Carroll. Again, finished the night with 25 points. He's now scored 54 in his first two games as a Red Raven. Janai Summers was excellent after the half. The Red Ravens were strong all night long, especially missing their point guard, Brian Griffith. It was Javen Kofer who got the start tonight. And Jeremiah Kemboy, who played some big minutes off the bench as the Red Ravens get a 74-48 win here tonight. Offense not quite as elite as it was on Wednesday, but the defense just as suffocating, just as efficient. You wouldn't guess this was a team full of 12 new players and 11 freshmen, the way they've been playing defense so far this week. We're going to step away very quickly for 60 seconds so I can grab the final stats. We'll be right back on the Red Raven postgame show on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. Silverados and 2024 models are showing up daily. Roman Chevrolet. Social media posts shared. The goal is to donate $170,000. Test drive a new 2023 Chevy Silverado and check out the huge selection of pre-owned vehicles at Roman Chevrolet, 2313 West Main Independence, your Silverado city. Is your dining room getting overrun with mounds of stuff? Old furniture piling up and just wondering what to do if guests show up. Dispense with the family arguments and get an indoor storage unit from Indoor Storage Solutions on West Main in Independence, Kansas. Units starting as low as $45. Get extra space today, 620-205-6720. 620-205-6720. That's 620-205-6720.
Red Raven post game show here on US 98, the Red Raven Sports Network. I'm Shane Neal. Let's quickly go over final stats before our conversation with assistant coach Braden Proctor. Ravens end up shooting 46% from the floor, 35% from three. Another strong night at the free throw line, 77%. For the night, the Seminoles, two of 22 from three, just 9% shooting 33% as a team, and they did not miss a free throw. Chris Carroll led the way with 27 for the Ravens, six rebounds as well, 10 points for Buba Carcada, a couple block shots as well in there. Isaac Jackson, six points, eight rebounds tonight, 11 for Janai Summers, most of those coming after the, after the break, and another great night for the Ravens on the glass, 45-28. The Ravens out-rebound the Trojans of Seminole State. We're going to take another 60-second break very quickly. When we come back, we're joined by assistant coach Braden Proctor as we break down this win. Ravens 2-0. We're back in 60 on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. Emergency medicine physicians 24 hours a day, seven days a week. ER physicians at CRMC have access to general surgeons, specialist medical imaging, lab services, and the technology needed in an emergency, all right here. If you are faced with a life-threatening emergency, insist on the best and say, take me to CRMC. Whether it's a triple-digit heat index or a sub-zero wind chill, you can count on US-98 for complete severe weather coverage. When it's snow and ice, high winds, dangerous heat, or a storm's approaching, we'll keep you up to date with closings and cancellations for schools, businesses, and events. Severe weather coverage is brought to you by Farm Bureau and Independence Agent Anna Lawless, Eck Heat and Air, Sagebrush Mercantile and Neo Deche, and h and Roofing. Keeping you safe and informed, US-98 KUSN. Red Raven postgame show here on US 98 and the Red Raven Sports Network. I'm Shane Hill. Ravens get the win 74-48. The final, we're going for the very first time by assistant coach Braden Proctor. Coach, I appreciate you spending time with us. Coach Herkelman told me you were so amped up for this, uh, so good to have you. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. Absolutely, and we, uh, we're excited to have you. And, uh, you know, this team off to a great start. It's fun. It's always fun to do the postgame shows when they win by 26 points, as uh, Coach Odom can attest to. It's a lot more fun than when they were losing some close games last year. But so far through two games, uh, obviously scoring 91 and scoring 74 is great, but I've been really impressed with the defense, with guys with a team with 11 freshmen and 12 new players to this program. Through two games, it really just feels like this team is connected on the defensive end, and that's, uh, I mean, obviously offense wins a lot of games, but the, the way the defense is playing right now makes it very, very tough on other teams. Oh, for sure. Uh, we've been really big on emphasizing defense this year, pretty much uh, as soon as practice started. Uh, and the guys have been really coachable and open to it, and a lot of them want to defend. So it makes it uh, easy to uh, emphasize it and um, just be good at it. Uh, another game where uh, your team also did a great job on the, on the you know some of the, the dirty stuff that wins basketball games, winning on the rebound uh, on the glass, uh, the battle for rebounds, winning by 18 over Fort Scott, winning by 17 tonight over uh, Seminole State, you also ended up with 12 team assists and shot 76% from the free throw line. Obviously, it's not the it's not the glitz and the glamour like uh, some of the big dunks or the block that BK had in the first half, but that's the stuff that wins basketball games. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm really proud of the guys for uh, how they rebounded. Initially, they gave up. Uh, it says they have seven second chance points. They had five in the first four minutes off three offensive rebounds, and they only ended with uh, six and seven second chance points total. So really happy with them cleaning that up. We were really big on that after the first media timeout, and they went out and responded and were, again, coachable, and they listened. Coach, no Brian Griffith tonight. He was out with an illness, and yep. so with that, of course, Javen Kofer got the start, and uh, of course, we saw some Jeremiah Kemboy off the bench. I thought for the most part, uh, in the in the time he played tonight, I thought Kemboy stepped in and did a really nice job with that second team filling in for Brian. Yeah, Kemboy's uh, really mature. He's like a coach out there. Um, he's really good at asking questions and even talking to the other players. When he watches film, he'll even talk to them about stuff they got to do better, what he has to do better. So it's nice having him out there. Um, yeah, he's just basically just another coach out there for us, so it's really good. He knows how to just make the simple, correct play and um, keep things moving. 13 points and 11 points in the first two college games for Janai Summers. A little a little slow in the first half, not really uh, his fault, but uh, of course uh, we'll get into that in a second. But Janai great after the half and uh, finished the night with 11 points, Hit some, uh, had a stretch, I believe, where he had seven or eight points in a row for this team. So uh, 
just a true freshman out of Evansville. Of course, we see what he brings in terms of size, yeah. what he brings in terms of uh, scoring ability, but just the fact that he's walked into college basketball and been such an impact player right off the bat is exciting for this team. Yeah, I mean, Janai is one of our uh, most talented players. I mean, he works, too. Every day after practice, he wants to get shots up. He does get shots up. He does extra work. Uh, he was well coached. Being a kid from Indiana, they always do a great job out there. And then he played at a really good prep school, uh, DME Academy. So he's been coached his whole life. Um, and that goes hand in hand with him being a hard worker. So um, very naturally gifted kid who puts the work in. Assistant coach Braden Proctor joining us here on the Red Raven Post Game Show. Coach, final thing I have for you. Appreciate your time. This is what we call uh, recycled content. I always try to come up with uh, different stuff to talk about each game, but uh, the first two games in the Red Raven career of Chris Carroll have been uh, nothing short of special. 29 points against Fort Scott on Wednesday, another 27 tonight to go along with six rebounds. And he's just, I mean, he just does a little bit of everything. He can knock down threes. He's a good free throw shooter. He's so quick off the dribble. He can also get rebounds uh, and defend. I mean, he's just, he's a player that, uh, has really come into Coffeyville and through two games, small sample size, but he looks like a star for this team. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, he he's, like I said, he's a sophomore transfer from Hutch, so he kind of knows how this league works. Um, came from a really good background, playing high school, played in Georgia, uh, Atlanta area. So um, really talented kid, obviously, but he's also one of our leaders, very coachable. He's, he's kind of like the guy who leads us from the front, him and uh, Isaac. So um, he works hard. Obviously, not big-time talent. He's definitely going to have a big year for us. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. We look forward to talking to you throughout the season, and uh, best of luck tomorrow. Yep, thank you. Absolutely. Thanks to Nick Bryan back in the studio. Thanks to Andrew Elrod here in the side Nellis Hall for making sure everything goes without uh, issues. We did have the power go out for a couple minutes, but Andrew saved the day and got that fixed uh, in minimal time, so we appreciate that. Final score again tonight, 74-48. Ravens will be back in action tomorrow afternoon. Against Southwestern, JV will have pregame at 145 and tip-off at 2 on Sunshine 98.9 because of the Red Raven football game. We're sliding over to KQQF, so make sure you keep that in mind tomorrow. That does it. I'm Shane Neal saying so long from Nellis Hall. Ravens 2-0. and We'll talk to you tomorrow on, uh, on the Red Raven Sports Network and Sunshine 98.9.